Ah, this is Brooklyn St. Michael with the School of Aquaponics, and this is Ask the Aquaponics God. Preventing you from becoming a biscuit-headed grower. Today, high class growers, we're gonna be talking a little bit about the number of fish that can be put in a particular size tank. But before we jump into that, I wanna thank you guys for liking the video and subscribing to the channel. The Aquaponic God appreciates every single one of you guys out there, right? So let's jump right into it and see what we're over here yapping about today. So this question comes from Umesh2063. The heck is going on, Umesh? It says, thanks Brooklyn for the great video again. You're very welcome, Umesh. It says, can you please tell me how many fish should we put in a tank of 1,000 liters? Some say 10, some 20, etc. So it's really confusing. What would be best according to you? All right, Umesh, so this can be confusing, especially, you know, when you're getting going and jumps jumping into aquaponics, you might hear different uh, amounts of fish that can be put in certain tanks. And it may vary depending on who you're talking to. So it can be confusing because you don't know really what the answer is. So today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to simplify it for you, break it down for you, so therefore you can come up with your, uh, your own answer towards the end and you'll be able to know exactly what can be put in that thousand liter tank, right? So let's jump right into it. I got the handy dandy aquaponics guide whiteboard that we're gonna put up right now. So let me fix this camera real quick and put this up so we can get the yapping. Okay, so let's get ready to break this thing down. So we're starting off with the water volume. And uh, you said that the water volume is 1,000 liters. Now what we're gonna do is, we're gonna convert that 1,000 liters into cubic meters. And the way you do that is, whatever your liters are, you just divide it by 1,000. So in this case, 1,000 liters, we divide it by 1,000. That's gonna give us one cubic meter. This is what we wanna do, right? So if you have 1,500 liters, all you have to do is divide that by 1,000, and it's gonna give you 1.5 cubic meters. So there's 1,000 liters in a cubic meter. So this is how we're gonna start, right? Get your cubic meters. The next thing that we're gonna to wanna to do is, we're gonna to wanna to determine the fish stocking density that we wanna raise our fish. And this is something that you're gonna select and this is something that's gonna depend primarily on the type of hydroponic uh, system that you have running, right? So if you're using a media bed that's not removing any solids, according to Dr. Wilson uh, Leonard, you're gonna be maxed out at pretty much 17 kilograms of fish weight per cubic meter of water volume, right? If you have a, a floating raft or DWC, we can do 60 kilograms per cubic meter. So I'm gonna have to make some assumptions because I don't know what the heck you're uh, raising, uh, what type of system you're putting together, and all that stuff needs to be factored in. So I'm gonna assume you're doing a floating raft. So we're gonna do a stocking density of 60 kilograms per cubic meter. It doesn't have to be 60 kilograms per cubic meter. It could be 40, it could be 50, but 60 is good. 60 kilograms per cubic meter. This is your fish stocking density. And this is something that you're gonna have to be deter uh, you're gonna have to determine, right? The next thing that we're gonna come down to is the required total fish weight. And the required total fish weight is the amount of fish weight that needs to be in this water volume in order to give us this stocking density. So we have 60 kilograms per cubic meter in one meter. So that means we need 60 kilograms of total fish weight, right? 60 kilograms and that one cubic meter gives us 60 kilograms per cubic meter. I hope that you're following along. The next thing that we're gonna break down is, is we're gonna get our individual fish harvest weight. This is the weight that you want each individual fish to weigh 
This is an approximation right before you harvest or, or right when you're about to do your harvest, right? And this can vary as well. So in this circumstance, we're going to put 0.68 kilograms or it's 680 grams. Or if you're in America, this is um, 1.5 pounds, right? So this is what we're selecting here, but it doesn't have to be that. And I'm assuming you're raising a tilapia. That's what this assumption is under. This could vary depending on the type of fish species that you're using, how long you're going to be growing them out, right? So this is just an assumption that we're making here. 0.68 kilograms or 680 grams or 1.5 pound fish. So from there, when we have these calculations broken down, now we can get into what you're asking about the number of fish that you can fit in this water volume, right? The number of fish. So when you break it down, we're going to get 88, 88 fish. And the way that breaks down is we have our total weight during harvest which is 60 kilograms, which we got right here, 60 kilograms divided by the individual fish weight that you wanted during harvest, the desired fish weight, which is 0.68 kilograms. When you divide these, that's gonna give you the number of fish. So what this is saying is you need 88 fish, or 88 fish at 0.68 kilograms is gonna give you 60 kilograms of weight. Right? So you have 88 fish at 0 0.68 kilograms is going to give you a required total weight of 60 kilograms. And when you go back even further, that's going to give you 60 kilograms per, per cubic meter. Watch, we have that one cubic meter uh, water volume that we have here. Right? So you, when you go backwards, you start the, the, um, the, the calculations start to all go together. So when you see this, when you see this, this could be changed either. Let's change it up a little bit. Let's say if we did, oh, I don't have my marker with me. Let's say we did, this doesn't have to be, um, this right here doesn't have to be 0 0.68 kilograms. This could be 0 0.5 kilograms. Let's do the math on that. Let's assume that this is 0 0.5 kilograms, right? So that, and we still had a harvest weight of a total harvest weight of 60. So if we do 60 divided by 0.5, that'll give us 120 fish here, right? That'll be 120 fish here. So this is the breakdown on how many fish you can fit in that particular tank, right? It depends on how much you wanna, uh, how, what the weight is that you wanna harvest the fish at. It depends on the stocking density, or I mean, excuse me, the uh, required the total fish weight and the stocking density and the, uh, the water volume that you have. All these go into play when you're breaking down how many fish it is that you can put in a particular tank. The type of hydroponic unit that you're using, all this goes into it, Umesh, right? So it's not as cut and dry as put 10 fish in 1,000 liters or put 20 fish in 1,000 liters because that's not telling you um, that's not telling you, you know, it's not breaking down the, the, the harvest weight, nor is it breaking down the stocking density. It's not factoring in those things, right? It's not factoring those things in. So when you go through this and you follow this, then it'll give you a clear um, uh, number on how many fish you can put in there at a particular harvest weight to get a particular stocking density in a particular water volume. So hopefully that has helped you out. And anyone else out there and that has pretty much cleared up some of the um, confusion that may um, be in there when we're talking about um, the fit the number of fish you can put in a particular tank right we need to know those numbers in order to be able to do it properly right so use that and break it down that way if you're trying to determine how many fish you can put in a particular uh, tank. So with that being said, I want to thank you guys again for liking the video, watching the video, subscribing to the channel. You guys are amazing out there. And if you guys need more information on aquaponics, make sure you go to the school of aquaponics.com, get in aquaponics paradise, right? And learn the fundamentals of aquaponic growing, man. Get in there. Right? So until next time, this is Brooklyn, St.
Michael with the School of Aquaponics reminding you to stop walking and get you a car.